everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ed and we like to talk about luxury and designer bags on a budget. So if that is something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button down below and then also go over and hit that notification button so that you can be notified for future videos that I post. So today I'm going to be showing you um, two vintage Louis Vuittons that I got in from Japan and um, I did a little bit of a refurbish on each one of them. So that is what the video is today. I'm going to show you these two bags and um, let me down, let me know down below what you think about them. Um, one of them I'm keeping for myself. The other one will be available um, for sale. So that will be down in the description. Um, but so we're going to get started. So I got these both in, I don't know, maybe three or four days ago, five days ago. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways, um, the first one is a Louis Vuitton Houston um, in the Vernice leather. It was yellow, so you can see it right here. Um, it came in, wasn't the prettiest bag in the entire world. I'm just going to let you know. So uh, not really pretty, um, but when I seen it, I was like, bitch, I'm about to make you into something. So I... Um, bought them. I stayed up one night and I was bidding on eBay, you know, I do sometimes. Um, and I actually won both of these auctions. Um, the second one is a Reed PM from Louis Vuitton. Um, and you can see here on what that one looks like. It was like a creamy white or cream white. Um, I'm sorry. But anyways, and then when you look at the back, you can see how it had um, some scuffs and different things on it, um, but still the 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 Keta on both of these were in really good shape still. Like they're obviously patina, they have like a honey patina, um, but they were still in really good shape. No cracks, nothing like that. There was no like cracks or anything in the um, leather. Okay, so now I will get in and show you what I did. Okay, the first one is the one that I am not keeping for myself. I will actually be putting this one up for sale. It's going to be a super reasonable price. Um, so definitely make sure you get down and you um, look if you're interested. Uh, very reasonable. I will send you a invoice through email and you can pay that way if you're interested. in. I am going to leave this, the day that this video comes up, I'm leaving it up for 24 hours so that I give you guys the first shot if anybody wants it. Um, price will include tax and shipping, but in 24 hours, if I haven't sold it, then I'm going to post uh, to a couple of the other sites that I post to, um, to try to sell it. But the first one, this is the one I'm not keeping. It is the Houston bag. So you can see, I'll put a picture right here again. It was yellow. Now we did, I did a satin gray. So I wanted it to have like a satin look to it, um, but I'll do a little spin for you. So here is this bag. I mean, look how gorgeous it turned out. So gorgeous. So it's been um, completely repainted. Um, there is a sealant put on it. So I have a couple coats of sealant put on there. Oh, and then I will show you guys the top here. Hardware in really good shape. All of your, all of the chaps. This, the leather was so good, but. And then, but as you can see, let me try to get closer guys. Look how beautiful this bag turned out. I am so excited. I just I'm excited about it. Okay, and then I will show you guys what the inside looks like. And the reason on like, this is the main reason I picked gray um, was the inside is lined in a gray leather. So you can see that you have that there. There is a zipper pocket down there. It, it's a, not stiff, like you can still, you can still zip it, 
I think it just needs, okay, now it's better. But it is, it's a little bit stiffer, I'm not gonna lie, stiffer. <laughs> um, and then there's also a pocket over on this side over here. So you have a pocket right in there. Um, and then you have this little um, D-ring that you can attach like keys or something to that also has the date code, which the date code is TH0919. So it was made in January of 99. So this bag is 24 years old. So I just saw it and I like to take something that nobody else is going to want. Like it was not pretty. And now she's pretty. She has a different look to her. Um, I thought the gray was super cool. And here's her little um, zipper there. But yeah, I just thought she turned out so good. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie, kind of proud of myself, just saying. Um, I also will t show you how I taped off, like here's a picture of me taping off the, um, the Keta. Guys, that was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it took longer to tape every to tape the vaquetta off than it did painting and sealing the bag. Um, so super pretty bag. Um, I am not going to keep this one. So this will be up for sale down below. So if you're interested in this bag, um, definitely let me know. Send me an email. Okay. The next one is the bag I'm keeping, bitch. So this one here is the reed. I will show you guys. She, I did a little bit more of a glossy look on her. I wanted to do more of like a matte, but not matte. So I did satin on the Houston. I added these little grommets on each side to make it into a um, crossbody. But look how gorgeous she is. Look at her. I'm keeping this one. So she's so pretty. I'll do a little spin for you. Now she needs to get a little bit more of a shape, which I'll have her stuffed when she's sitting. But I'm actually going to probably get into her. But I saw this strap. And actually before she came in, or before this bag came in, I... um. I already had this strap picked out because I was like, I had this type of look um, going in my head. So that's what I did. Here is the inside. So I did not do any of this, but you have your little Louis Vuitton stamp there. And then you've got the pocket, a little pocket in the back. I really don't know what you're putting in there other, other than coins. But this one also had gray canvas interior. And I did leave the yellow. I don't know, like, so there's a yellow strap that is like this. And I thought I might want to add it because I don't know, I like the yellow and gray together. So I thought maybe I might do a yellow strap, but I didn't actually, and to be honest with you, I was lazy and I was like, oh, that's a lot of work. Like taping off all of these little things. No, thank you, ma'am. So I left, I did leave that little bit of yellow there, but I think it looks good. Um, and I decided I wanted to make it into a crossbody. So I love this bag. I love the um, color of the Vaquetta on here. I also have a couple Vaquetta straps that I think will look really good on this, but this is a vibe and I'm here for it. And I just wanted to get on here and show you guys how happy I am with how these both turned out. And I will probably, this will probably be my bag of the day um, before we know it. And then the bag of the day today is my first pride piece. Um, I have these extenders because <laughs> I'm fat and it wasn't, the strap was not fitting. So I have these little extenders that I got in um, the gunmetal, uh, metal, or the gunmetal metal, gunmetal metal, gunmetal metal, gunmetal in gunmetal. I think I just need to leave it at that in gunmetal. Okay. But yeah, so this is my bag of the day. I also, for my one birthday bag that had the green, I thought my little green um, card holder looked good with this. And then you guys can also see what I have stuffed in there. Um, my little Louis Vuitton Kiragami pouch. Kiragami pouch. I think that's what it's called. Oh, my unicorn lotion. Unicorn lotion. 
I found this for a dollar at the Dollar Gen. <laughs> and then, yeah, just, you know, my essentials. So, bag of the day is this one here. Pretty sure this is going to be my bag of the day um, tomorrow. I don't know when. Um, but, yeah, guys, that is all I wanted to do was get on... Guys, that's all I wanted to do was get on here, show you um, what I purchased... Um, I feel like I got a great deal on them, put some time into doing the work, but I think they've turned out gorgeous, and I'm super, super proud of myself. Um, but anyways, yeah, I am pretty proud of how they turned out. I'm excited. I turned them into something that wasn't that pretty, into something that I feel like now can live on. Um, this one will live on with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then this one's going to get a new home and live on with somebody else because I'm not a shoulder bag person and I'm not. It's too big to make into a crossbody. Um, but it is beautiful and um, I hope somebody else gets some enjoyment out of it. But I will see you guys all next time. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us out. Um, I'm trying to get to 750 still. There is a giveaway video that I have out once I hit 750, so make sure you go check that out. I'll actually link that below. Um, and then I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes this poochie's way Yeah, darling, gonna make it Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't know it was my turn to talk yet Sorry about that, guys My dad likes to ramble, so, you know <laughs> But here I am Anyways, um, can you believe he turned those two shitty-looking bags into those masterpieces? I know, right? All right, guys. Well, love y'all. Bye.